going on in the world is that right. when you bring people into your home, you have COVID. <laughs> right. And and how do you deal with and especially the they say that the teenagers, the college age students are taking less precautions. So you're if you're hiring these types of people to come in and do your therapy, how do you manage that and their exposure? Because yeah. I know you've dealt with that. Oh yeah, I, I certainly have. And um you know, I can't I certainly can't control what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And, and I, you know, I fully acknowledge that. I mean, they, they're free to live their lives. Um, I, I've got a great group of girls and I think they, they're, they're sensible, uh, but a couple precautions we take, you know, we have them wear masks in the home just because it just reduces the factor, you know, mm -hmm. so much. And, um, and I think that helps. Uh, we did have a couple girls who got COVID and, you know, they're fine. They're back, you know. Um, and I just, we've been very forthright on the team. Like if there's been an exposure, you know, I'll just, you know, we just let the whole team know this is just part of it. Um, we go get tested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a factor. But but one thing that's that's helpful is being able to do things virtually. And it is not my favorite way to deliver therapy. And I would not want to do that forever it's so much more engaging to be one-on-one -on -one. but it does you know it does provide some consistency you know uh when i was trying to do this myself i was not getting as many sessions done as i would like and i was kicking myself for it and so now um you know that, that's not happening yeah <laughs> so, you got new blood coming all the time <laughs> right right and and um yeah. The other thing too, with the whole COVID thing, what's what's tough is just kids want interaction. And so we've had some of our right. friends who want to do play dates mm. and and they can. And then we've got some who need to isolate because they might have an elderly grandparent, you know, right. and mm -hmm. I totally respect that. I understand that. And so we've even done virtual play dates. Mm -hmm. When the mm -hmm. thing first started, we had some of our girls kind of just um, facilitating a virtual play date because kids yeah, aren't uh -huh. playing virtually. I mean, they don't mm -hmm. need WebEx for the most part. Mm -hmm. And so, so you know, things like online, um, I don't know, Jeopardy or like, you know, bingo or different games like that. Oh, yeah. And then they also uh -huh. just like talk, you know, right. now, now they're down with just the virtual chit chat. <laughs> right. We do that just to provide some connection, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it's good to have a little programming to kick that off, especially as it's in